Football is very popular in Ohio. You have the Ohio State Buckeyes and the legacy and the disgrace of Woody Allen and other head coaches along the way. But uh, there's nothing like going through two-a-days as a freshman who weighs 95 pounds with guys who weigh 140, 150 on the same freshman squad and are five inches taller than you, six inches taller than you. And one of those guys was Kiefer Sullivan. I didn't have much of a relationship or friendship, whatever you want to call it. Didn't relate to him. He was an asshole and uh, behaved like an asshole. And one time we were playing cards at a party, and I remember the president of the class, who had some balls, because he wasn't huge either, uh, caught Kiefer cheating. I noticed the cheating. I just thought, you know, I'm not going to say anything. And the first thing this asshole Kiefer does is invites the guy to step outside with him. Well, he's not going to step outside with him. He's got this huge height weight advantage. And that's what it was. It kind of got implanted in your mind. I dropped football quite wisely and uh, after being abused verbally. Uh, and I had this back problem from something. It was just a hard surface in the cleats. And I ended up uh, running cross country. And another guy who didn't behave like an asshole very long, for very long periods of time, was called uh, John Packer. Packer or Packard? Anyway, he <laughs> he felt it necessary to point out the inconsistencies of quitting football because of back pain and now running cross country. I guess I was the only the one that he could mess with who sat at this table that was for the kind of the cool kids. And his father was also uh, a physician and um, he was just kind of a, kind of a jerk in uh, most categories. So what do you do when you go on from life <laughs> and you meet other jerks? Uh, I think you just stand firm and don't don't let people get away from things. And now that I'm 6'2", 220 pounds, uh, oh gosh, I wish I had that size back then. And I would stand up to everyone. But it's not something I dwell about or think about. It's just a story. And um, I think once it gets in your psyche, though, even though I have a big fat belly, you still think of yourself as that 98-pound guy who got sand kicked in his face. And, uh, yeah, that's what I want to say.